The Women's Super League is back with a bang. James, a terrific Chelsea goal. And Ella Toon has stunned the Emirates. Kelly, oh! Katie McCain has rifled it in. Brilliant! Absolutely breathtaking! Ah! Chelsea showing why they're champions. Today's video is on the history of Chelsea women. Chelsea women are a professional women's football club who compete in the FA Women's Super League, the top division of female football in England. They are currently managed by Emma Hayes. Jimmy, who is the greatest Chelsea manager of all time? No question for me, there is only one and it's Emma Hayes. And are one of the most successful teams in the women's league in the nation. Chelsea Ladies Football Club was formed in 1992 after supporters of Chelsea FC expressed desire for a women's side. Tony Farmer, a longtime Chelsea supporter who became interested in women's football when his girlfriend Val Lightfoot joined Crystal Palace, wrote a letter to Chelsea FC to propose adding a women's side. Upon approval, Farmer became the club's first manager lobbied for it to be promoted in men's match programs and began recruiting youth players to the club including Casey Stoney and Farah Williams as 12-year-olds in 1994 and 1996. The side's first home pitch was Hurlingham Park in Fulham. Farmer managed the club from the third division of the Great London Women's Football League to the Premier League Southern Division before resigning in 1997. In June 2004, Chelsea ladies voted to be taken over and funded by Chelsea's football in the community department. And in 2004-2005, Chelsea won promotion to the Premier League National Division. The club has participated at the top level ever since. In their first season in the National Division, Division, Chelsea's season was underwhelming to say the least. With one point from their first six games, manager George Michaelas was fired in September after four years in charge. They finished rock bottom under John Gore but won a promotion regulation playoff against Liverpool to stay up. They finished eighth the year after and in preparation for the 2007-2008 season, manager Gore signed England stars Shibon Chamberlain, Casey Stoney and youngster Eniola Aluko who had previously impressed and reached the FA Cup final with Charlton. Eluko would depart two years later but came back during the WSL period and forged herself as a Chelsea legend. For 2008 and 2009, Chelsea introduced former Arsenal ladies reserve manager Steve Jones to the helm and signed Leanne Sanderson, Anita Asante and Mary Phillip from their London rivals. Chelsea finished third that year behind the Gunners and Everton. Mary Phillips retired only one month into the season and Anita Asante and any Eluko departed for the new American League, the WPS. Jones departed in 2009, leaving Casey Stoney as player manager. Stoney recommended Matt Beard and he became manager for 2009-2010. The club suffered financial difficulties and a lack of funding, but men's side star John Terry as well as other players gave the club financial assistance. The club bid successfully to be one of eight founding teams in the FA Women's Super League in March 2011. On the 13th of April 2011, the first ever WSL fixture was played at Imperial Fields, Chelsea's home ground between them and Arsenal, which they lost 1-0. Baird led the club to the Women's FA Cup final for the first time in 2012, but Chelsea were eventually beaten by Birmingham City on a penalty shootout after twice taking the lead in a 2-2 draw. In July 2012, Matt Baird resigned as manager after three years in the post. Chelsea finished six out of the eight teams in the 2012 Women's Super League, nine points off qualification to the UEFA Women's Champions League. The year after was also not a successful one for Emma Hayes' side. They finished seventh and were only a narrow four points off the drop to the WSL2. The 2014 season was much better. Chelsea finished second in the division, narrowly missing out on the title by goal difference. They could have clinched the trophy on the final day, but they lost 2-1 against Manchester City. The second place finish also awarded them qualification for the Women's Champions League, as well as them getting to semi-finals of both the FA and the Continental Cup. In 2015, Chelsea had an incredible season. In August, Emma Hayes' squad won the first Women's FA Cup final that was hosted at Wembley Stadium. A single goal from forward Eniola Aloko, the 
difference between them and opposition Notts County. Three months later in October, after a 4-0 win versus Sunderland Ladies, they also picked up their first Women's Super League trophy and secured a first league and cup double. In the Champions League, Chelsea beat Glasgow City 4-0 in the first round before going out to eventual winners Wolfsburg in the round of 16. They finished second in the 2016 campaign and qualified for the Women's Champions League. They once again met the German giants, this time in the round of 32 and were knocked out. With the WSL making the move from a summer to winter season to fall in line with the men's game, a spring series of the WSL was played. Chelsea were victorious in the spring series and they earned the title on goal difference on the same number of points as Manchester City by having an 18 goal margin ahead of them. Now, in a summer campaign, Chelsea repeated the double. The 2017-18 campaign was the first before the league became fully professional, but the fact that the Blues side was already mostly full-time and had access to Cobb Han training facility gave them the advantage. They won the WSL by a comfortable six-point margin and were victorious in the FA Cup final against Everton in front of over 45,000 spectators. Emma Hayes' squad were three one winners in a game that was broadcast live to the nation on BBC One. As well as this, in Europe, they defeated Bayern Munich, Rosengard and Montpellier before once again falling to Wolfsburg, this time in the semi-finals. Ahead of the move to a professional WSL, Chelsea made the decision to make a progressive name change and shift from being called Chelsea Ladies to Chelsea FC Women. Their European fortunes were similar. They set aside SFK 2000, Fiorentina and PSG before losing out in the semi-finals to Olympic Lyonnais. Arsenal won the WSL and Chelsea missed out on Women's Champions League qualification for the first time since the 2014 campaign. In 2019, Chelsea became only the third side in history to lift the Continental Cup, 2-1 victors thanks to a brace from Bethany, England. Chelsea women play at King's Meadow Stadium in Kingston-upon-Thames, which they share with EFL League One side AFC Wimbledon. It holds 4,850 with 2,265 of that as seated sections of the ground. Chelsea were awarded the 2019-20 WSL title on a points per game basis after the season had to be abruptly terminated due to COVID. Chelsea began the 2020-21 season by winning their first ever FA Community Shield against Manchester City. The season also saw them win their second consecutive League Cup, winning 6-0 against Bristol City. Chelsea and manager Hayes won their fourth WSL, the most by any WSL team, by two points on the final day of the 2020-21 FA WSL season with a victory over Reading. Chelsea broke the records for most wins, 18, and most points, 57, in a season and became just the third team to defend the league title after Liverpool and Arsenal. Sam Kerr won the WSL Golden Boot for most goals scored by an individual, 21, while Frank Kirby was joint top for assists, 11, and goalkeeper Anne Katrenberg registered the most clean sheets, 12, winning the Golden Glove. Given their remarkable performances over the season, Suzanne Rack of The Guardian stated that Chelsea was one of the best teams to ever play in England's top flight. On the 16th of May 2021, Chelsea, on course for a quadruple, lost 4-0 to Barcelona in their first ever Champions League final appearance. On the 5th of December 2021, Chelsea won the delayed 2020-21 FA Cup beating the league leaders Arsenal 3-0 in a dominant display with goals from Kirby and two from Kerr helping clinch the trophy and their first domestic treble. Current home attendance record of a Chelsea women's match is 38,350. So on the 20th of November 2022, during the 2022-23 Women's Super League season, match against Tottenham Hotspur played at Stamford Bridge. Their current home attendance record at their primary ground of King's Medal is 4,670, set on the 28th of April 2019 in the Champions League semi-final leg against Lyon. Emma Hayes' side have been England's most successful team in recent years, with the Blues on the hunt for a fifth consecutive WSL title this season. But the Blues haven't been able to match the Gunners where it matters most, in Europe. Hayes knows that, given she has a medal from Arsenal's Champions League success in 2007, which came as part of a quadruple while the current Chelsea boss was an assistant coach. Since then, it's been a competition dominated by Lyon, Wolfsburg and recently Barcelona. Could this be the year Chelsea are crowned champions of Europe?